What do we have for Virgo? King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy at the foundation. Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy at the sacral. And I also had the Magician flip over in the deck. Gemini, Virgo energy at the solar plexus. Virgo, recently I've been feeling inside the Virgo Collective... And this has also been a theme inside some of the collective readings I've been doing for all the zodiac signs. But I've been getting a message here surrounding all of you in particular regarding the subject matter visual manifestation. I feel that all of you right now are at this optimum time in your life to really start manifesting these visions into your actual reality. These dreams, these ideas you have for yourself, these hopes, these aspirations, whatever it may be for you, it's arrived. But now you need to prepare yourself to actually be able to let all that which does not serve you on this current timeline go, essentially getting rid of any dead weight, person, place, people, behavioral patterns, addictions, whatever it is, and become the vibrational match to this new timeline that's opening up for you. The King of Wands in reverse at the foundation, I feel represents the energy that all of you are up against right now. This can be an outside energy, or this can actually be you having such high expectations for yourself that you're not able to actually put one foot in front of the other, and you essentially just remain stuck. And I think we can all relate to that one. You set the bar too high, you don't see any progression, so you just put off making these moves that you need to make. Now, for a lot of you as well, this is going to have to do with people you have around you, okay? And I can tell you based off of experience that if you're not seeing the results that match the work you're putting in in your life, you need to start looking at your environments. You'd be surprised how much of an energetic influence the individuals have that are around you on your success. Merely having somebody in your presence can be the deciding factor whether or not you align with your blessings, your purpose, whatever is meant for you. And the reason for that, Virgo, I truly believe, is because some people are just not where they need to be in their life to be able to experience where you're going. It's incredibly important that you're not allowing others to stand in the way of your happiness, however this energy may be showing up for you in your life. Because what you're essentially doing here is sacrificing your happiness, your life, really is what it comes down to, for the lack of growth that another individual has in their own life. This can be very challenging when this is family members, close friends, people that have always been around us. But Virgo, as we all know, the greatest challenges the greatest obstacles that we must overcome bear the most fruit, have the biggest rewards. And for you, Virgo, some of you have individuals around you that is so overbearing and drain you of every last drop of energy that you can't even focus on the path ahead. And these individuals have a good idea of what they're doing. They do this because they know that you will enable their behavior. And this has come up in Virgo readings before enabling other people's terrible behavior. But the thing is about a Virgo, even though you may put up with it longer than most other zodiac signs, there does come a point where you've had enough. And I feel that we're getting to this point now, Virgo. With this Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy at the sacral, this is you now really starting to focus on this vision. Everything's becoming much more clear to you now, and I feel that a lot of this has to do with the astrology. It has to do with just where we are in the world. There's no more time to waste. Time seems to be moving faster. But you're starting to realize that unless you start moving in tandem with this flow, this energy of evolution, you can kiss those dreams goodbye. I feel the Virgo Collective really starting to move into an energy of self-empowerment. I don't feel that you're willing to put up with these energies any longer, Virgo. You have given them more than enough opportunities to try and meet you where you're at. And Virgo, that's not a lot to ask, especially when you're on this path of self-improvement and elevation. 
But I feel that a lot of you have been guilty of doing the work and then having to backtrack to allow others to catch up with you, or you've simply had to turn around and meet people back down on their level for their own lack of growth and healing. And at the end of the day, Virgo, this is you selling yourself out. It's like you're unraveling all the growth you've done. It's an energy of walking back your own personal evolution. I feel a lot of you are starting to have this perspective now and you're just really starting to understand that it doesn't make any sense. I also feel that you're starting to understand that it's much bigger than you and the people you're dealing with. There's two forces in this universe. There's a force of evolution and a force of de-evolution. Now, there's so many different ways that you can define this. It just really depends on how it's showing up in your own life. Some people call it light and dark. Some people call it good and evil. Some people call it God and Lucifer. Some people call it yin and yang. But whatever the case, I think that you're really starting to understand how this force is working in your own individual life. And you see how you play this incremental role inside the collective. We all do. This energy shows up universally and then it will show up in this micro to macro kind of scale in our own lives. And what you can really pin this down to, Virgo, is an energy of you simply self-empowering or not. You either going after your dreams and your visions or not. You either allowing other individuals to take your life force energy away from you or not. This magician is also representing you turning these visions into reality. So it goes along with everything I said at the beginning of the reading. And this is also you starting to understand your full potential, purpose, and power in this life cycle. And Virgo, I do feel that you are going to be making huge strides moving forward into the future. What do we have at the heart, please? Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, energy at the heart. Huge strides into the future is exactly right. I just heard there's a fire up underneath you. Virgo, there's been some sort of an epiphany that you've had in recent days. I feel it. It's like you have this passion and this lust for life that you haven't had in a very long time or in this capacity really ever. You just see things differently now, Virgo. You know that there's no more time to waste. You're going after what's yours by divine rights, Virgo. You're not allowing anybody to stand in your way anymore. For some of you, the energy here I'm picking up on is some sort of repressive authority in your life, whether it's a boss, it's a parent. It's just somebody who you once listened to or you deemed as a positive influence or role model in your life. And you've just started to see now that this person's ideas for how you should be living your life is not resonating with you at all. Some of you have lost several years by trusting these individuals. You trust these individuals over your own intuition, which causes you to question your own higher guidance. But now, by way of this epiphany or an unfolding of events, it's as if you see this energy as a sort of enemy, somebody who's never really had your highest good in mind ever. It's almost as if it was a game. You recognize something so oppressive about this energy now. For another group of you, this is representing behavioral patterns that you've picked up from somewhere. Essentially just you holding yourself back by some sort of learnt habits. And all of us have done this one at some point in time. But some are more extreme than others. There's this energy here, Virgo, where I feel like you're really starting to go in and look at all the fine details of your life and see what needs to be cleaned up, see what needs to be reviewed, see what's essentially holding you back. And for some of you, it's going to be a little bit of all of these things, people, places, things, behavioral patterns, addictions, foods, whatever. But the overall energy inside the Virgo Collective is an energy of awakening and realization as to what these things are. What do we have at the throat, please? Nine of Swords, Gemini energy at the throat. Some of you could be having headaches right now. They've just come out of nowhere. And I feel that this is connected. It's part of the awakening process. It's almost as if your spirit is so irritated by these energies, it just can't take it anymore. So it's manifesting as physical symptom of headaches, nightmares, anxiety, depression. I do feel a lot of you are aware of this. 
Some of you could be waking up in the middle of the night with heat all around you. There's like this red glow on the sheets there. It's like a, this shading, but it's in red. And I've never noticed it before, but it made me think about waking up feeling heat around you. It's like your sheets are hot. See, this occurs when we're going through an ascension. Things like nightmares, headaches, physical ailments, lack of sleep, feeling nauseous. This is actually kind of normal because what this is, it's an energy of detoxification. Your spirit, your physical vessel is signaling you to rid yourself of these energies or you're already in the process of ridding yourself of these energies. So there's a lot of disruption going on. This does go away, Virgo. And there is such a thing as what people call ascension symptoms. It's as if you're breaking free from something, but this energy is trying to hold on to you. It's irritating your spirit. It's like uh, energetic cords trying to be severed. And this is how it's showing up in your waking life. But in saying all that, Virgo, that is actually a form of healing. So if you are going through that, and this message does align with your life at the moment, then just know you are on the road to recovery. What do we have at the third eye, please? Two of Cups, Cancer Energy at the third eye. So the way I'm seeing this Two of Cups now is you finally aligning with your higher guidance, right? The higher guidance that you questioned when you had this other energy in your life, however that represents to you. This is you now coming into this energy of calibration, coming online. It's like a energy of having this unification with the divine, your higher self. There's also this energy here where I feel like you're starting to really recognize your true nature, Virgo. It's like you start to feel yourself. It's almost hard to put into words. It's like finding yourself, but you never actually knew you were lost until you find yourself. That's alignment. That's ascension. It's like you feel at home within your being, within your spirit. Things just feel as they're supposed to. And this can really speak on you never really realizing how stuck you were until you put these energies behind you. It's like, wow, I never even realized. It took removing yourself from these cycles, these energies, stepping outside the fishbowl, so to speak, and taking on this completely different vantage point to realize how far off of your path you traveled. But Virgo, you also need to understand that it was all meant to happen like this. You needed to gain this wisdom for very specific reasons. It's all a part of your journey. That wisdom now that you've gained is something you arm yourself with going into the future. It can be used to discern or it can be used to teach or both. What do we have at the crown, please? Devil. Capricorn energy at the crown. Goes along perfectly with what I just said. Energy of you breaking free of this bondage, so to speak. Uh, it's like an energy of finally busting out of this form of self-restriction that this energy kept you in. You've also managed to learn a lot about yourself. It really is an energy of completing major shadow work here. It's like you've forgiven this dark side of yourself. And that can be representative of all the things you tell yourself that hold you back from self-empowering and stepping on path. You know, that can be seen as all the little excuses we convince ourselves are true or we tell ourselves to avoid having to step into our power. It's just a form of fear. But I do feel this falling by the wayside now. There's an energy here where you've really reclaimed your power. You've detached from these energies. For some of you out there, you've managed to leave behind some sort of abusive situations, whether it's physical, mental, spiritual, verbal, all of the above. There was just something there that made you feel like you were lacking something in order to pull this off. I just heard spiritual poverty, which is really one umbrella that all of these forms of abuse fall under. What do we have at the foundation, please? Wow. King of Swords stacked with, stacked with King of Wands. 
very, very abusive, manipulative energy here. This is a tyrannical sort of energy. This is a very aggressive, very power-hungry energy here that I'm picking up on, Virgo. And for some of you, this does represent somebody who is physically violent, very mentally cruel, very cold and harsh. I just heard pig-headed as well. These next few cards I read as negative polarities, essentially reversals, because they're shadow energies. So we have King of Wands stacked with King of Swords, both in their negative polarity. So this is dictator kind of energy. It's like you had your own personal Hitler in your life, Virgo. Picking up a lot of gaslighting as well. This person made you feel that the way you perceived them, which was correct, was actually delusional and it was all you. You know, one of these kinds. Always pointing the finger at you every time they did something wrong. This is also someone who blames everybody else for their behavior. They have an excuse for everything. What do we have the sacred place? Oh, wow. Knight of Wands bathing in its negative polarity. That one actually came out in reverse, but I read these as reversals anyway. But they really wanted to emphasize that here. So we have Knight of Wands twice now, but you're in this Knight of Wands upright energy. This is um, a horrendous energy right here. Very, very chaotic. For those of you out there that are in romantic connections, this is somebody who would go out and cheat on you and then smile in your face like nothing ever happened. And if you ever did catch wind of this and question them, they would tell you you were crazy, point the finger at you, put the blame on you, and make you feel like you've done something wrong. For some of you, you finding out about this is what sets you off on this new path. Ace of Swords, stacked with that Knight of Wands right there at the Sacral. You see right through this person now. You've gained clarity. You see how truly hedonistic and manipulative this person is. They're only out for themselves. Oh, I just heard so clearly and getting their rocks off, whatever that means to you, Virgo. To me, it just really speaks on somebody who's always seeking pleasure and doesn't care how it may affect others. What do we have at the solar plexus, please? Ooh. Ace of Pentacles, Lucifuge, Raphael. I'm getting a uh, energy here on some of you who were financially connected to an individual who was, let's say, spending, for the sake of example, all their money on gambling, wasting all your resources. Maybe you're starting to see things on bank statements that are very suspicious. This is representative of that kind of energy here. But overall, it's just an energy of you finding something out. They can't dispute this evidence you have here. You're also starting to see clearly now, like I was saying earlier on in the reading, about how many opportunities you've actually missed out on because of this person. Virgo, you're just starting to see now that this person, this situation, whatever this energy is in your life has detoured you. And again, though I mentioned that everything was meant to happen exactly like this, some of you have been getting the signs and synchronicities for a while. Some of you may have already had some pretty hard evidence on this individual and remained in this cycle, which puts you in the energy of being the enabler now. So it's essentially the divine telling you, okay, Virgo, your job's done there now. We need you to move on and you staying, right? Staying longer than the divine intended you to stay for. What do we have at the heart, please? Oh, wow. Paimon, Queen of Wands in its negative polarity. King of Wands in its negative polarity. Queen of Wands in its negative polarity. King of Swords and Knight of Wands all in their negative polarity. King, Queen, Knight of Wands. Unbelievable. This energy is uh, horrible. I don't know who this is you're dealing with, Virgo. But I also feel that for the individuals that have been enabling this behavior because you've stayed for too long, I feel like they've just gotten worse. Uh, this is also the universe trying to uh, really get you out of there. There's been an increase in the chaos that this individual brings into your life. Queen of Wands is also a very aggressive energy. There's a, 
there's a lot of uh, violent energies in this reading, Virgo. And again, it doesn't necessarily have to be physical. It can be mental and spiritual. It's just a energy of really being under attack at all times in some capacity here, which I feel is essentially what's taking place when we're not on path. It's like this resistance working in our lives to get us back on path. Queen of Wands is a very mean-spirited energy as well. Very, very vengeful and domineering. And then we have Haziel, Divine Forgiveness, which is the Hierophant, Taurus energy. God. So we have God and the devil in this spread. Speaks on what I said earlier on in the reading about light and dark. God and Lucifer, yin and yang, it's all on this table. There's two paths that I see on this table, Virgo. There's a path that leads straight to hell and a path that leads straight to your destiny. It's like the divine has sent you these signals and you didn't show up, so to speak. So now here comes God and all your spirit guides. It's like they've come to get you. And Virgo, it is no easy task to break out of karmic cycles, especially ones like this. You've been in this for quite some time, by the looks of it. But you are being asked to surrender here. Nothing here is ever going to change. It's time to move on from this. What do we have to throw, please? Three of Cups, Cancer Energy at the Throat. E-I-L, the right hand of God. Fame and renown influences commerce, voyages, and great discoveries. So this follows this Hierophant perfectly because here's God and all your spirit guides. And whenever I get this card, it illustrates you, right? Here you are, divine child of the universe and all this protection around you, the spirit guides. It's like they come and rescue you. Now they're protecting you and removing you from this situation here. But you must surrender, right? This is that support coming through for you from the divine, letting you know that you don't have to do this alone. Unbelievable. King of Cups, Cancer Scorpio, Pisces energy, Rochelle. God seeing everything. Restitution. And King of Cups is a very emotionally balanced, wise energy, but also very stoic. So here you are now moving on, and then here this energy comes through. Wait, wait, Virgo, please. I'll, I'll change. I, I didn't mean it. Please, please. Give me a chance. It's like you now see this energy for who they really are. It takes all of this for them to finally show up like this. But Virgo, this is only happening for some of you to validate what you always knew about them. It took you finally saying no, stepping into your power, surrendering to the divine, moving forward to get them to come running back, so to speak, or it can just be an energy of you seeing something now in a different light. You just really, at the end of the day, see them for who they really are. What do we have at the crown to close that for Virgo, please? Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. So a lot of fire on this energy. Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, King of Wands. Irathel, the preventing god, propagation of light, confounds the wicked and slanders, saves from enemies. So this page of wands now is representing you free of this energy. It's like you have this renewed sense of passion, feeling very enthusiastic about this new life that's unfolding for you. There's a lot of energy here, Virgo. After a time, of, I feel, a lot of stagnation, just this grinding sort of energy that I'm picking up on, but no evolution. It's like the harder you work, the more the energies around you de-evolve. That's a real wake-up call when that happens. For those of you going through this, it's very important that you pay attention. Is that how you feel? Is that what's happening in your environment? Because for a lot of you Virgos out there, this reading here is what's going to 
open your eyes to what it is you've been dealing with, and finally take the necessary steps in your life to self-empower and surrender and allow for the divine to cloak you and move you into this new timeline. That is yours by divine rights, Virgo. You've just stayed a little longer than the divine intended you to. Virgo, this is the energy that I have available to you, depending on where you are on this timeline, should you choose to accept. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you would like a personal reading, you can find all of my contact details in the description below this video. And thank you for your donations, Virgo. Take care.